Stop playing with God. The stuff that I'm telling y'all is stuff that I told myself. If you're watching this video right now, like, God is doing enough for you right now. You get what I'm saying? You still alive. You still moving. What's up, Nelly gang? It's your girl, Janetta Co here. Welcome back to my channel. And today, as you guys can see by the title, we are going to be chit-chatting. I'm going to show you guys this hair. It is going to be a jolly time, okay? But before we get into this video, if you would like to be a part of the Nelly gang, all you got to do is hit subscribe. Like, come on. I know you want this for life, so subscribe, boo. And anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So before we actually get into it, I want to let you guys know that this video is being sponsored by Bu Fox Hair. I think that's how you say their name. Their name will be on the screen as well as down below. They sent me this beautiful hair that I'm wearing right now. Got really big fluffy beautiful curls and then I decided to put a headband on with it as well you guys will also see what the hair looks like without the headband this is just how I decided to style it for today so this is what their packaging looks like um, shipping took about two to three days no longer than a week their shipping was really fast so I appreciate that this is like my second time working with them and their customer service is always great it was the same as last time time it doesn't have any like logo on the outside but in the inside it does have the company name which I do love they also also gave me a wig cap which I love and then they obviously sent the hair so the hair that I'm wearing is their 13 by 4 lace front wig 150% density this is a body wave wig and this is 100% human virgin hair I got mine in 24 inches and all of the links to this hair will be down below as well as like the direct name and everything like that also if i have a discount code i will leave that down below in the description box so please make sure that you check that out if you want to get money off the lace on this is just so beautiful like it just looks really good i love this hair so far so if you want to know how i styled this hair to get it like this just make sure that you keep watching and yeah you guys so let's just go ahead and get into the styling all right, so I wanted to show you guys the inside of the wig. So this is the cap construction. It comes with a few combs and of course an adjustable strap so you can make sure your wig is secure. This is what the hairline looks like and I also want to note that I did wash this hair. So this is the hair washed and air dried. I wanted to make sure that it was fresh and clean. And this is my hair, as you guys know. Um, it looks crusty right now, so this was the perfect time for me to put a wig over my actual hair. So I'm gonna comb my hair out, make sure it's nice and detangled and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a low ponytail and after that I'm gonna put on not one wig cap but two because I do have really thick hair and I just want to make sure that I can lay my real hair you know nice and flat underneath the wig and plus your girl don't know how to corn roll so this is about as good as it's gonna get <laughs> So for this hair, I decided to stick with a side part. I felt like that would be really cute, especially with the texture of this hair, y'all. The texture is so pretty. Like I said, this is the hair freshly washed and air dried. And after this, I'm gonna go ahead with my Pantene hairspray just so I can get these flyaways down. And doing this also helps to get rid of that bulkiness at the top. And I'm also gonna use my Conair bristle brush to better flatten out the top of my head. Now this is the perfect time to use a hot comb, but you know, I don't have one because I don't wear wigs often um, so I'm just gonna use my curling iron so if you don't have a hot comb you can also improvise and use this to go ahead and flatten out the top using a hot comb and braiding your hair underneath the wig would also help to lay your hair flat but like I said y'all I don't know how to braid and I also don't have a hot comb so with the other side that has the most hair I'm gonna divide it section by section so I can make sure that I can get it as flat as I possibly can and you guys see when I part the hair like look at that parting space and look how closely it looks like to my skin tone I just love that and plus later on I'm gonna put some powder so it can just better match with my skin I love the hairline this hair was just really beautiful you guys and I'm just gonna continue with the same steps just spraying it with hairspray using my Conair bristle brush and then going in with my curling wand to better flatten it out I 
I did want to mention you guys that this hair had little to no tangling and shedding the only time that I really got shedding was when I was cutting off the lace and honestly that is to be expected I didn't really have a lot of tangling you guys I will have to say this hair is really easy to style and it's just perfect for beginners I just can't get over the hairline for some reason I feel like it just melted really nicely into my skin also, if y'all see me laughing, my family was over there, so I was just listening to them talk outside of my filming room. So, yeah, so I'm just going to continue on with the same steps, you guys. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and then after this, I'm going to uh, go ahead and cut off the lace. The wig was pretty secure on my head, but since I had a little bit of lace sticking up in the front, I decided to take my hairspray and spray a little bit on the lace just to kind of make it stay down and I just fixed the hairline a little bit. I only did it to this side of the wig just because the other side you really wouldn't be able to see and plus I was um, planning on wearing a headband later on. So um, yeah, I just didn't feel the need to glue the whole wig down because it was still pretty snug. So yeah, you guys, pretty easy to style. Love this hair. It was easy, perfect for beginners. So here is the hair. It's super duper long, as you guys can see. I have this headband on right now because I'm trying to lay down my edges and stuff. I might keep it on. It's low key kind of cute. I don't know. And excuse if you see the lace. I really want to keep the hair in its natural state as it is, but I do want to like tame it a little bit. So this is the hair with no products or anything in it. Really beautiful, super soft. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video or anything, but while I'm briefly styling this hair, I do want to talk with y'all a little bit. It's going to be really quick. But I just really feel like I want to say this. A lot of this stuff is just temporary. You get what I'm saying? So it's like at the end of the day, after this life is over, after you live this life, like what have you what have you done with your life? You know, and it's not to make you feel bad if you haven't done anything, but I think it's like good to think about like why am I here? What's my purpose? What do I have a passion for? Whatever it is, whatever that burning desire is in your heart, I really do feel like we should start thinking about that and start acting on it because you just really never know listen i get it because i'm still young i'm gonna be 23 um this month so i don't have it all figured out i'm not saying that you have to have it all figured out sometimes we don't know like what's our purpose sometimes we don't know like why am i here but figure out exactly what it is that you like to do and just start doing that you know you like to do those things for a reason you know there's a point for that and even if you feel like oh it's oversaturated there's enough singers there's enough this like if you have a talent if you have a gift and you and if you have an ability god placed you on this earth to do that you get what i'm saying and i tell myself this every every day i'm like man i really have the desire to help people i really have the desire to share my knowledge i have many different things that i really want to do and it's like sometimes i think I hold myself back and sometimes I think we can hold ourselves back and plus two we just get so caught up in the everyday of life that we forget why we're here you know God placed you on this earth to do something okay he didn't just put you here to just sit like he put you here to do something and if you don't know what that is start talking to him start asking him I feel like a lot of times we can get so caught up in life of this world that sometimes you need to just take a break and understand like this life is temporary there's more to life than likes there's more to life than followers there's more to life than money there's more to life than that and even if you don't have that like connect with your family you don't even have to be nothing deep like just connect with your family get back to that and just the simple things of life you know we just we just get so caught up in everybody else's business and we get so caught up in money and fame and just other stuff you know or trying to get that promotion like there's nothing wrong with that but just make sure that you're not making those things an idol in your life and you know for those of you who do believe in god y'all need to stop playing with god okay stop playing with god you know y'all need to start getting back right and the stuff that i'm telling y'all stuff that i told myself be, be grateful for where you are be grateful for what you have not get so caught up in I don't what what you don't have you know don't focus on what you don't have right now what's meant for you is gonna be for you probably can get in this entitled
type of thing where it's like well god ain't doing this god ain't doing that and it's like god really doesn't have to do half the things that he does for us but the fact that you he does something for you like he woke you up you watching this video right now you need to like this video okay if you watching this video right now like god is doing enough for you right now you get what i'm saying you still alive you still moving you still have the opportunity to be able to live out your purpose and to do whatever it is that god has called you to do so yeah that's pretty much it i really don't even know sorry if it's all over the place because i really wasn't expecting to do a lot of talking but i just kind of just really wanted to say that we forget to thank god we forget to take that time to appreciate the little things in life and you know like i said the same thing that i'm telling y'all is the same thing i be telling myself like that's why every time i come on here and say something you know like or i talk about a certain topic this is stuff that god's been dealing with within my own self you get what i'm saying so i will never come on here and tell y'all oh y'all need to like i will never do that this is coming from the bottom of my heart like i said i wasn't even planning on talking about this but if there's something that you want to do baby just do it okay just do it don't be trying to hold yourself back and that's something that i'm working on as well not holding myself back so yeah y'all that's pretty much it i was not expecting to do anything like this but i mean i guess we just gonna go with it i was just gonna do like a little wave or something like that but it ended up turning out like these little cute curls so i'm gonna finish curling my hair and then that's going to be it you guys this hair curled so perfectly you guys i was not like i said i was not expecting to do these tight of curls i actually wanted to keep the hair in its natural state but since i already got it curled like this i might as well just you know gone all the way with it so i loved it i did not regret it um, I love the way that this hair curled you guys really soft just all around beautiful hair They really did their thing with this wig and I'm just going to go ahead and pick out some of the curls Now here is where I feel like I should have hairsprayed the hair because I felt like I would have still kept that more defined look But it ended up turning into like a more fluffier curl, which is fine But I really did like the defined look more so I wish I would have like went in with some hairspray But I still made it work y'all. I still made it pull together So I'm just gonna brush out the curls curls to make them more fluffier and then I also decided to keep the headband on just because I like the way that it looked with the fluffy curls I felt like it looked super cute you guys so this is the end of this video shout out to Bue Fox hair for sending me this beautiful hair it is amazing all of their information will be down below in the description box so please make sure you check that out and if I have any discount codes it'll be down below this hair is beautiful absolutely love it and I really like this hairstyle on me so thank you guys so freaking much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.